Hi guys, another warm welcome back to the channel. Uh, today again we're on Karamea and uh, this time uh, we've got a bit of a problem with the fresh water pump uh, that supplies uh, the taps and the showers and the sink in the galley. Uh, it's been uh, on the blink for a little while, it's been a bit unreliable so I thought today it's a fine day, sunny and uh, blue skies outside. Thought I'll take it off and uh, let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on. Um, so I will change cameras and see what we've found. Okay, so here's the, the pump with the pressure switch taken off and uh, I've taken the uh, pressure switch apart. So this housing just sits on top yeah, like that. Uh, this screw uh, adjusts the pressure at which the, uh, uh, the cutoff actuates. There's a micro switch under this little rocker, and uh, it looks like it's the micro switch has failed. So uh, uh, I'm going to take that apart, take it out, and uh, from the research I've done, it looks like it's an Omron part, fairly easily available and uh, reasonably um, cost effective to repair. So uh, um, Let's have a little bit of a look. Okay, so that was a fairly easy exercise just to pop the uh, micro switch out and uh, uh, testing it with a multimeter has shown that it has actually failed. So uh, um, it's also the part number that uh, uh, I have found on my research. So I will order another couple of those and uh, we'll pop it back in together and uh, uh, that should be sorted. So uh, I'll get onto that and come back shortly. Okay, so we have the new uh, micro switch, uh, courtesy of Element 14. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them, but uh, it was a great uh, turnaround, great service by those guys. Uh, so uh, as you can see, it's the one we expected. And uh, we'll go ahead and pop it back in and reassemble the pressure switch section. So that's all it is. Just pop it into that uh, aperture in there. Just slides in, just clips in. So uh, see that? So there we go, that's popped back in. It's fairly simple, just clips in, slides in, and you can see the terminals in the base there. So we'll pop it all back together. It's all back together again. So we'll pop the lid on and, uh, and just reassemble it. And then we'll go and see if it works. Okay, so all back together again. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward uh, to do yourself. If you just take a little bit of time, a bit of care, it's pretty easy. Uh, just remember these are all plastic housings. Just be careful not to over tighten these bolts. You don't want to go stripping those. Uh, a bit of time and uh, uh, care and uh, just take photos as you go. If you just remember which way it all goes together again. So let's go over to uh, the little harbour and we'll put it back in and uh, check that it's all operational again. Okay, you're under the lazarette and got the pump back in, uh, reattached with all the pipe work and uh, reconnected to the uh, 12 volts DC. And uh, so we're just about to uh, fire it up and just check that it's uh, working. Uh, but I'll uh, give the pump strainer a little bit of a clean first and then we'll see how we go. But uh, um, I went back together fairly smoothly. Uh, I'll tidy up that wiring uh, just shortly and uh, just make sure that that's all looking, looking okay and uh, ship shape. Uh, some of those connections look a bit uh, ordinary to me so uh, um, I'll replace those and uh, make it a bit more, little bit more robust so that uh, we don't have any problems with this one in the future. So uh, let's go and have a look if it, uh, it's going to work. Okay guys, moment of truth. Oh, that sounds promising. We can hear the pump running, and ah! we have water coming through there. So that's perfect. Um, thanks again for joining us, guys, and I uh, hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you'd uh, like to give us a thumbs up or subscribe, uh, that would be terrific. Or leave us a comment. Uh, I'll put a few links in uh, the bottom there to uh, show where I got that switch from. As I said, I'm not um, sponsored by Farnell, 
uh, but uh, um, if it uh, helps, if you're in Australia, uh, they are great to deal with, and uh, I think they're about four dollars, so uh, a bit of freight, so it's pretty good. So I'll see you in the next video.